Today I'm going to talk about, how to fix iPad unavailable or iPad security lockout. So how to fix this up without iTunes or computer. First thing is that, make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi or mobile data. If it's not connected, wait till the try again, given time expires. Then swipe into notification drawer, and enable the Wi-Fi or mobile data. Then what you have to do is, we need to keep entering the wrong password to get it disabled, until try again in 15 minutes appears, or until the erase option appears. Okay, now when it reaches to 15 minutes, you will see an option as erase iPad. Tap on that. Proceed with erase iPad. You need to enter the Apple ID password. Let me enter mine. Now, as you can see that the iPad is getting erased. So as you can see that the iPad has been completely erased. If erase iPad doesn't appear for you, there's alternative method, let's move to it. For that, you need a Windows computer or Mac. On PC, you have to open Internet Browser, and navigate to, Google.com, then search for, iTunes Download. Then click on the first one. From here, you get 32-bit and 64-bit. In order to check yours, head over and click on the search icon over the bottom. Search for File Explorer, and open it. From here, scroll down and click on this PC. From here, right-click and go for Properties. Here as you can see that, mine is 64-bit. So go back to the web browser, download the one for Windows 64-bit. The download has begun. Open it when the download finishes. Follow the instructions. So this is the iTunes. For Mac users, open web browser, navigate to google.com, search for iTunes download for Mac. Click on the download icon and proceed further. So once all done, let's move to the iPad. So first thing, if you're using iPad with no home button no matter what model your iPad is, this works for all iPad with no home button, just follow the instruction. So what we have to do is you just have to connect one end to the PC or laptop and the other end to your iPad like this. You have to connect it, ok, so once connected, you just have to make sure that the screen it is turn it on, so now what you have to do is just have to get into recovery mode and do this stuff. You just have to press volume up followed by volume down, then press and hold power button until your iPad gets into recovery mode. So now as you can see that it is successfully got into recovery mode, for iPad with home button, this method will work for all the iPad models with home button. So to get into recovery mode, before that make sure that your iPad isn't connect to computer, ok, so first you need to turn off your iPad, connect your iPad to your computer while holding down the home button and keep holding the home button until you see the recovery mode screen. Now the instructions hereafter is the same for all the iPad models. As you can see, there's an option to restore your iPad, tap on that, then tap on agree. Then, at the top right of iTunes, you can see that the software is getting downloaded. The software is around 6.05 gigabytes. So let's wait for it to get downloaded completely. Note that recovery mode will not stay longer. So, your iPad will get out of recovery mode if the download takes long. If the iPad goes out of recovery mode, it will not affect the download. You can re-enter into recovery mode once the download is complete. You don't have to download the software once again. Get into recovery and you can restore at the spot without downloading again. Note that doing this will erase all datas of your iPad.
So guys, Snow, as you can see that we have successfully downloaded and as you can see, it is getting processed. So, it is getting extracting the software, so you just have to wait for that too. Now, as you can see that the iPad is getting restored. Now, your PC says that the iPad is restored. So let's move to the iPad. We have successfully erased the iPad. So that's all about this, and I hope this video is helpful. If you got any questions to ask, feel free to ask in the comments section. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and enable post notifications. We'll be back with more videos, so stay tuned. This is Peter Smith. See you soon in the next video.